Uh, actually, whoops. Which one's this one? Nope. Yeah, there we go. I bet, because I'm not making hot cocoa today. Anyways, there. Everything should be right and ready. Oh, gee, here, hmm, here, she, here. Ah, uh, uh, I need this. Come up now. Flip. Set myself up. Which. So I can see the replay if it happens. Da -da. Yeah, I'm gonna grab uh, my tablet for that. Thank you so much and so kind of you. So I'm gonna basically I'm gonna wait for you to get ready because I want to do them wishes. I want to do them wishing. Oh. Take Kitching out of the party for now because she's max leveled. Pop the What's our objective? And let's go. Set up. I am all good. Nice. And I'll make sure not to claim because I'm at max XP for the week for the battle pass at level 44. Holy shit! Hey okay. Frederick Punch! It's um it's 12:37 in the morning for yeah, me. Yeah, it's it's noon for Daniel. Yeah. So. But thank you for being here for your support. Um, yeah, it's actually noon for me because I am all the way in the Ireland and whatnot. You'll be able to say go to sleep uh, to me on on 19th, between the 19th and the 20th, because I'm going to be doing something absolutely ridiculous and I will make myself sleep deprived. <laughs> it's 6.37 in the morning for you? Oh my gosh. Jeez, what part of the world are you in? Because I know it's like uh, One seven. hour behind me, so he's oh. in sort of middle Canada area. Yeah, west coast, right? Yeah, never Not eats. quite the west coast, but... Nobody enjoys Soviet wobble. I'm just kidding. Never eat seaweed. Uh, <laughs> Houston, Texas! Holy crap! Holy crap, nice! All right, yeah. Uh, wow. Did not expect. So, wouldn't, wouldn't you be the one who should go back to bed? Well, then again, no. I wake up this morning either way. So, like, Amy, don't you also wake up at five in the morning? So. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get up at five. Waking up early is just a thing for me and Amy. Amy and I. Sorry. Gotta be grammatically correct. Oh. Huh. Anyways, uh, just so that you can go back to bed then, uh, Frederick Punch, let us do the wishing. Amy, you can see? Yep. Alright, I'll make sure to not claim the battle pass thing of doing uh, 50 wishes until next week. I was up all night and I'm still not tired. Why were you up all night, Frederick Punch? Why? Why? Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Because I got... Uh, should I do 20 of them, or should I just do 10? Hmm. That has the power. Alright. Ready or not, here we go. Fingers crossed. <gasps> I fucking got a gold! <laughs> oh my god, your luck! <laughs> Streaming love confirmed, and I got Jinyan as well. Streaming fucking luck confirmed, streaming luck confirmed. <gasps> what did you get? <laughs> oh my god, I got cheese, baby. I got cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, my print screen button doesn't actually work. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna just. Pop, give a message. So I guess she's leveled up to level 60 or whatever right away? In, in fucking immediately. Oh, I don't know. 
Holy shit! Holy shit! Amy, clip that! Fucking clip that if what you can! What the heck? <laughs> oh I don't know how to clip stuff. I don't know how to clip stuff either. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! How do I clip? Oh I, I'm god. making one now. I found a button. Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh, streaming luck. I am sweating with the amount of freaking immediate jubilation. There. Oh, I published the clip. Holy shit. Oh, what? The actual hell! <sighs> oh my god! What did I do to deserve such grace? Such luck? Now I think I need to wish for weapons at this point. Yeah, you need some better ones. Like, well, yeah, because I need I need weapons for them. Holy shit. Oh. Oh my god, please. Oh wait. Please. We may leave at any time. What shall we do? I I actually thought it's so funny. There's uh someone who joined my game a couple days ago, I think. Just to go and randomly kill monsters with me. Uh huh. And he pulled out, he started the game with um, Tartaglia and Catching. And then swapped to Gene and um, Child. No, Child's Tartaglia. He swapped to Gene and Zhongli. He had Zhongli. And I'm like, holy shit, why do you have so many five-star characters? He's like, I only have two five-star characters, what are you talking about? So I got a bit confused. Oh my god. Yeah. That was insane luck. Yeah, you think? Oh my gosh. Like, I don't even have... Like... I only have three... Five star weapon, four star weapons for long sword. So I need, I need more because they're not, they're not enough. And then there's me. I have a five star and like seven four star long swords. It's ridiculous. Oh my uh, god. Oh no. You, uh, are you feeling remember. shaky? Yes. I was trembling. There are those who share the memory. Also, oh, core lapis. I need a lot more core lapis. Yeah. At least well, Eugene. Well, I don't need core lapis at all. So if you ever want more core lapis, let me know. You can come to my world and steal all of mine. Okay? Oh, I was going to say you'll drop me core lapis. Oh my god. What in the absolute fuck. Oh my god. I'm, d I'm dumbfounded. Like, the, just the, oh yeah, two five stars, two five stars. Oh my god. Yeah. What? Oh my. Yeah. Bro, I gotta fight the animal thing a lot more. I forgot to to do that. But I can already make her somewhat close to usable level. And this is why I had all those books. Oh my god, I finally got Gene. I've been begging the game to give, <laughs> to give me Gene. And I got And now both. you only have to get her several more times. Oh yeah, for... Yeah. But oh, you got her. Geez. You can fight with her. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to, like, I have so many characters now. Oh, yeah, you have to really pick and choose who you want. 
Rise! I love how this thing is just a giant fucking pillar. Gather! Oh yeah, he has the same- Now you don't need to use the, uh, the Geo character for the platforms now, because his platforms are actually climbable and taller. Yeah, I don't- I no longer need the Geo Trapper, you're right! You're right, right, right! Oh my god. Yeah, I found that in the uh, in his story quest. I don't know if you've done it yet. No, and I'm about to do it. Go, yeah, you go through a dungeon. There's like a dungeon in every story quest. And I think you go through a dungeon area and you get him. And the only way to get through is to make platforms. So. Holy cheese and crackers. All right. Let's navigate to the only quest I have. Because I've been mopping up a little bit. Ooh, I have to get on the ship somehow. Hold on. Yeah. If you oh, climb to the peak below the leeway, like right at the border, you could glide all the way over. What in the absolute world? Oh. Whew. Well, I just have to say, don't use up all your excitement for today. Oh yeah. No. I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make his ice jealous. <laughs> oh That's what I'm looking forward to. Alright. Okay. Hmm I'm gonna be staring at characters for a while right now. Because I they will need artifacts. And that's a for sure. But first you must look at their abilities and powers. Oh my god. Increase the maximum numbers of stone steels that may exist simultaneously. Against the nearby characters a jade shield when it descends. Oh my god. I just love how ridiculous. Increases the pulling speed of Gale Blade. Gene Pickers of Animal or Practical or Penalty members have their movement speed and attack speed increased? Holy shit! Dandelion Breeze. With the field created by Dandelion Breeze, all enemies have their animal resistance decreased by 40%. Increases the level of Gale Blade and increases damages. Incoming damage is decreased by 35% within the field by the updated line breed. Please. Nice. And her talents. Oh, she's a he she's a cook. She's also a healing cook. Hold on. Using dead line breeze would generate 20% of its energy? Holy crap. Uh on on hit Jean's normal attack have a 50% chance to regen HP. For all members. Oh my god. How much hit points? Um, 15% of Jean's like the... attack. So make her have a lot of attacks. You can regen yeah. a lot. Oh my god. Focusing. At the cost of continued stamina consumption, Jean can command the whirlwind to pull surrounding opponents and objects towards her front. Direction can be adjusted. Ooh. Nice, 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 nice. Also, talent plus level plus one, randomly. Huh. And what do you need? You need resistance to increase your talents. Yeah. Nice. Let's just immediately throw money into jeans stuff. Oh, I'm out of guidance resistance. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this? This tightness, this happiness I feel in my chest. I don't understand. Alright. Um, <laughs> crit rate, defense, defense. Increases charge attack damage by 35%. Uh, increases 
increases their attack damage by 35%. Or if I have this, increases swirl damage and decreases opponent's elemental resistance to the elements infused in the swirl by 40%. That's really, really good. Oh, I don't even know. Also, why are all these defense? Jesus. I need, I need to go, oh, physical damage plus 25 percent, oh, I have a hat, oh, healing bonus, nice, all right, that's one, that's two, equip defense, because for now, I just want the river just veneer, see if I have enough, there's an attack plus 7 percent, nice, uh, da -da -da. Attack. I have so many of these gladiators destiny plumes. Ooh, that's a nice one. And another Virgis Veneer. Don't I already have two? Yes. Or I can have increased elemental mastery. That'll be nice. I can have no bless of beach. Um well then, I know this is very makeshift. Uh, gladiators might be better than... I have a bunch of them. Might be better than... Unless Oblige for 18% more attack. Yeah. It's having high attacks also. Well then. This is incredibly beloved. I can't even speak. I'm speechless. I'm dumbfounded. I'm... <laughs> well, no, it's like. <sighs> like, what are the odds? Like, the odds are already low enough to have one five star. But to have two five stars and a four star, all in one wish, get out of here. And that's why I said clip that shit, because that like needs to be preserved and boasted to people. Because what in the absolute hurry is that? Yeah, I think I clicked it. I clicked the clip button and it gave me a 28 second video, uh, but it wouldn't load when I tried to uh, watch it to see if it was right. Oh, hold on. Fingers crossed that it's right. Oh, well, I don't. But that's okay. I'm still trying to recuperate. I'm still trying to recover. I can't. Can I actually get up here? Please? Just pull yourself up. Okay, fine. Maybe that's not a good idea. Let's just go from here. Now I just need to whoop the animal hypostasis uh, a couple more hundred times. Because I kind of like, you know... I didn't necessarily ignore per se. I just didn't do it, do it. Near Stabilize. Because <clears throat> I was focusing on the electro hyperstasis for catching in Beidou. Mhm. Mm oh, oops. Oh my God. <laughs> and now you know why I keep coming back to this game every morning. Because the magic of the gacha is just so strong. <laughs> oh crap. Now now the only question is, do I focus on getting the um the 
treasure chest that way. Uh, do I focus on getting the Mondstadt wings or the um, Liyue wings first? I don't. I honestly don't care about the wings in mine, so I'm just trying to get the Geo. Uh, like I got the Geo Treasure Compass, and I'm trying to get the um, Liyue one now. Mm hmm. But that's it. I'm all, I actually, you know, I like, I like cosmetics and aesthetics and stuff like that. Alright, treasure chest thing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the treasure tracker is really useful. It's only like a 30, uh, 25 second countdown or timer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Now I might just have to wish on the the weapon page. Just so that I can have or wait, 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 wait. Pima shop. Alright. I can buy... Uh, what's so special about the Royal Longsword? Upon damaging opponent, increase crit rate by 8%. Oh, but it has an attack plus 9%. Mm, but then again, characters... Uh... <sighs> Greed! Greed is pushing and clouding my decisions. I don't know what to choose. Amy, should I just get the Royal Longsword for Jean? I... Just so that I have en en enough four-star weapons. That would probably be good. I've never actually run into that problem. I always have more weapons than characters, so... Yeah, I have way more good characters than weapons now, sadly. Also, freaking Paimon just made me hurt myself an insane amount by making me jump off a cliff. She's yeah. so nice, isn't she? Oh my god. My cheeks hurt. My cheeks already hurt. And this is just the like beginning of the happiness and joy I will be able to feel today. Oh. Thanks, Amy. Why? I did not pull those for you. No, but you were part of this magic and streaming luck. So I say thanks to you. Um. Yeah, I should shave these for... Because it's how many more days? Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. It's how many more days out of the battle pass thing? 14 days. Uh, could I sit on 14 days worth of wishes? No, I probably cannot. Alright, but, you know, I made up my mind. I'm buying that long sword. Do 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 Please. Thank you. Ah. No. I don't know why it's locked. Oh, the longsword looks so freaking nice. Oh yeah, it's it's it's. This was a good idea because it's it's an attack percent and base attack increase every time. So it's just gonna skyrocket in power. Or like in Jean's attack power. So that's gonna be super useful. Du, 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 du. Oh, but it's the ruins of the Dickabian city thing. Well, oh well, you win some, you lose some. Uh no. So let's keep in this. Da -da. Huh. 
There goes my money. Uh, that's that's all. And then just mash the Mystic Enhancement more. Because I have a lot of them. Send again. Mash. She will be useful by the end of today. Oh, and it's Sunday, so I could maybe get some more runes of Dabda City. I don't know how to pronounce it, and I'm not even going to bother trying to learn. That's why I enjoyed the Dikabab Dabda City. You know? <sighs> I think it's Decorabian. Probably. Probably, 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 probably. I'm losing my mind, I'm losing my mind, I'm going freaking insane. Can I climb this? Yes. Okay, good. And I'm on the ship. Meet Zhongli at the table side. Ah! Oh my god. Oh? I didn't think I would see you here. Are these two your friends? Yes, we had the fortune of meeting not too long ago. They are quite a knowledgeable and talented pair. Okay, and good. A pleasure I'm not covering to be text. Traveler, <sighs> we were just discussing the history of Rex Lapis. Your own history? Would you like to listen? Sure. Uh, this good sir seems not to appreciate the almighty power of the Lord of Geo. As a professional archaeologist, I'm inclined to correct some of his erroneous views. I mean, no one knows better than him. We are discussing the whereabouts of the first Mora. To the guy who made it. Come on. As everyone knows, the Lord of Geo taught the ancient people of Lyra the craft of smelting, creating goods that allowed them to develop trade with the early nations of that time. Mm -hmm. Today, Liyue holds the sole right to cast Mora in the entire continent of Tevat. The world's very first Mora should have been cast by the hands of the Lord of Geo himself thousands of years ago. According to my research, as well as my own hypothesis, I believe that this coin of unique historical significance has been passed down secretly through the years as a kind of token. A uh, token, you say? For example, perhaps the Qixing who control the Liyue use it in some kind of unknown ceremony they hold when they come to power. Fair enough, but no, you don't no, know. No. My research indicates that the first Mora coin is not such a simple thing. Ed Mora is a catalyst. This we all know. Even today, Mora is used in the mystic arts for its curious properties of weapon enhancement. Huh? Oh my god. Are you seriously saying that lore-wise, when you enhance your weapon, you actually throw your gold into it as the well? World's first Mora would no yep. doubt possess- oh That's god. been the whole oh, thing this whole time. Oh my god. And my next historical treatise will boldly expound on the newest findings from my intense decade-long research. I honestly thought it was something like, um, you know, you're paying- just like how in, um, like in Dunge uh, Dungeons and Dragons, when a wizard puts a new spell in his spell book, th it costs gold because you're spending gold to, uh, like, pay smiths or like pay for ink and magic paper and all that fun stuff. So I thought like upgrading the costs was just paying the proper smith and whatnot to actually work on your sword to make it better. That is. That nope. The this game, you're actually you pouring the magic money into it as a weapon to enhance a dagger and a sword. Oh, Paimon is without a voice. Well, well buy I... the book when it comes out to read the full story. <laughs> For now, I will only reveal this. The one who finds the dagger shall become supreme in Liyue. And the one who finds the sword may be crowned Liyue's sovereign. Oh. Uh, I can't say I agree. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> 
Let us not speak of the authenticity of the dagger and sword first. But Mora and money came about simply because they are a convenient measure of a contract's value. Rex Lapis just meant for Mora to serve as a catalyst for people to exchange and trade. The world's first Mora is probably just an ordinary coin created by Rex Lapis. As for its fate, the same as all Mora, I suspect. It was simply spent somewhere. Hmm. I think that Mr. Hanshua's hypothesis seems reasonable. Mr. Zhongli's argument, on the other hand, lacks any oh, the evidence. the fact that he is the one who How made the first so Mora? you so easily dismiss the Lord of Geo's profound foresight? No, no, I am not debating right or wrong. I am simply stating a fact. Enough! Do you think you understand the Lord of Geo more than me? Actually, he I is. I know but little about history. And I wouldn't dare to brag. But discussion is meaningless if everyone has the same opinion, no? Well then, answer me this. Long ago, when Liyue Harbor was being constructed, the Lord of Geo taught the people how to build houses. The model home he used to teach them was completely cast from Mora, correct? Ah. Uh. That is correct, indeed. Okay then, tell me. Why would the Lord of Geo do something so extravagant, if not because of the mystical power that Mora contains? There's a simple explanation, really. To the god of wealth and commerce, what material is easier to get than Mora? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're telling someone else's tale. <laughs> I mean, I am talking about Rex Lapis. Sure. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Uh... I have some questions about archaeology. Can we find some more quiet to chat? I mean, if it's okay with you. Has she oh, figured it out? It's no problem at all. But may my friend accompany us? Perhaps they could be of some help. I'm just here for a of good course. story, you know? They can come if that's what pleases you, sir. Just here for the story. Let's do this. Especially since we got Chiyo Daddy with us. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I always love coming up to what the characters in the world with their own characters. What I'm about to say is a bit disrespectful of the Lord of Geo and would draw a lot of mm -hmm. remarks. So it's best to discuss this somewhere quiet. Mm -hmm. Your argument just now exhibited acuteness of speech and thought. Most importantly, you don't fall for the boasting and acting of the others. You remain objective. So I have a question for you. Perhaps you will answer differently from other scholars. Do you think that all the gods that the Geo Archon killed were evil? Let's not analyze it in terms of good versus evil. Rex Lapis placed great importance on the integrity of contracts. So any gods he killed certainly must have broken some kind of contract. Yeah, but Paimon's mute for once. Not that I'm totally against it, but, but when I, I was doing actually some ignore research, her voice I learned times. about the legend of the God of Salt. The god of salt, Havria, was a very kind god, but she encountered Morax one day in battle. Morax used a rather underhanded trick to assassinate her. Oh? Yeah, oh, come on. I, I want this, time on voice. I'm sorry. This bit of history is a long story, but you may not like the truth when you hear it. Don't worry. He, he Please tell it. me what you know. This event, I've already searched for answers for a long time. You look uncomfortable no, there, Zhongli. it's Li. just... <sighs> Where should I begin? Over here! Huh? Mr. Zhongli! I've been looking for you! <laughs> ah, so you're over you? here all this time. What do you want? Nah, fucking the Fatui. Down your weapon and stay back! Paiwan, why are you First mute? First of all, I'm not holding a weapon. Was, it, was she mute in your game, Amy? When you did it? Uh, no, she yelled a lot. Oh, well, I guess I broke my game. There's no need to overreact now. I'm simply an archaeological researcher from Snezhnaya. I'm not here for trouble. Yeah, sure. But this time, I registered with the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. I could show you the official documentation if you want to see it. I will be conducting an archaeological survey here, the results of which will all be shared with the ministry. Okay. 
I heard that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor had a consultant named Zhang Li, with immense knowledge of ancient history and archaeology. So I paid Wangsheng Funeral Parlor a handsome amount to hire Zhang Li as my own consultant while I'm in town. So you mean to say that this is work for the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, yes? Well, what do we want to do about it? Well, since it's work, I don't have a choice. A consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor must respect their duty. Of course you would be such a reasonable man. Well then, let's head out now, shall we? Wait, if you are studying archaeology, can I go too? I am also a scholar in this field, so I can help. That will give us a chance to continue the topic we were just discussing. Oh, and you should tag along too. Why? This experience may be of help to you on your future adventures. It is a story from before the Rise of the Seven. Although the God of Salt has already perished, it will still be a meaningful experience for your journey. This is... Fair enough. Wait. This is an archaeological expedition, not a tour group. That's too many people. That's four. Come on, man. But this friend of mine has a treasure-finding talent, surpassed by no one. It will surely be of great help to us. Oh? What talent? If my friend espies a treasure chest, they will absolutely find a way to open it. I mean, fair enough, eh? Well, that is quite enticing. Well, let's go. There's no time to waste. When the Overlord of the Vortex was crushed by the Jade Chamber recently, perhaps something of interest was washed ashore. An ancient artifact would be good. Traces of ancient activity would be great. But a piece of the God's limb would be even better. Who knows what um, surprises we may find. Why do you want a piece of the God's limb? That sounds um, a little intense, I will say. Alright, that away. Oh, we can just... I'm gonna have to start freaking artifact farming now again. To try and get, uh... Hey, what if my head all tilted that way? There. Yeah, that's right. I'm facing... Hey, welcome back, Frederick Punch! Hope you, uh, didn't miss me losing... Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. nerve. But where are those who share oh I think a memory? She... Oh, nice rolls? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Yeah! <laughs> you didn't miss it. Oh my god. I'm... Ooh, nice. I'm so incredibly excited for it. And now we gotta mine a ton of core lapis for Zhongli. Because, like, I, I, I want to know the amount of people who've gotten two five stars in one roll. I got, like... It's got to be like infinitesimally minimal. I think that was the proper way to say my sentence. Probably not, but I don't care. It was a way to say. Yeah. Now the only two five stars I'm actually missing are Venti and because I didn't, I didn't have enough luck for him and Clean. Uh, because I was kind of like in a deficit of summons at that point. But I still got everyone else. Oh god, I'm so stoked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gather! Crystals. Because I might actually have to start turning my condensed resin or my uh, my original resin into freaking uh, the crystal chunks, the en enhancement ore there, to be able to keep up with what is required. All right, continuing with the story, we are. This place looks so ordinary. Can we really find anything valuable here? Can you calm yourself down? We haven't even started looking. And I have a mute Paimon, so I think I have all the luck in the world, according to some people. I don't mean the scenery, <laughs> but rather that there should be something out of the ordinary. A big battle did just occur and all. 
and I don't even know where to begin looking here. The Leonstone Forest is actually the perfect place to be, if you wish to learn about the gods or the history of the Archon War. Are you fapping? No, I'm just clapping my hands! Jeez, I would never do such a horrendous thing during the Legend public. has it that Rex Lapis and threw spears made of large video. rock into the sea here. Jeez. Piercing just and excited. crushing the overlord of the Vortex. After many years of wind erosion, those stone spears have turned into the unique rock formations we see now. Oh my gosh. What we see now is just the part of them that remains. The stone spears hurled by Rex Lapis all those years ago were much greater, both in number and in size. But due to the different angles they landed at, their large centers of mass, erosion by seawater and years of gravity, many of them have been completely swallowed by the sea. Frederick Punch, during a stream, off stream, anytime I want. No, just, just move along from that topic, please. Move along. So besides wind erosion, the initial collapsing of the stone spears also played a big part in the formation of Guyon Stone Forest. Well, a god able to fight one so powerful as Rex Lapis was certainly very strong in its own right. Heck, you wouldn't even be able to pay me to do it. Indeed. This is where the value lies in research at Guyon Stone Forest. Most of the objects from that time were lost to the sea. But the gigantic waves created by the Overlord of the Vortex have given those sunken objects a chance to see the light of day again. So you're saying that if we look carefully, we'll be able to get very, very rich. Uh, uh, I mean, rich with archaeological knowledge and historical Every time knowledge. this is nice, you shady son of a guns. <laughs> Since we brought so many people, I think it would be best to split up and look. Okay then, I will go with my friend here. Although I have a smattering of knowledge in various disciplines, when it comes to archaeology, I can't compete with the expert here. Huh? M me? What's the matter? This is your profession. Why are you so surprised? I get it. I'll escort him then. Okay. If we find anything valuable or rare, let's meet on the shore opposite from here. All right. The ancient god probably left behind lots of elemental marks. Following them should make our search much easier. That is a money weasel with a much bigger sack of coins. Yeah, 750. Okay. I actually didn't think that that was going to be a thing. But I'm glad to be proven wrong. <laughs> I have an, an, an improper party for this, <laughs> but I'm still going to stubbornly test it out. <laughs> Dulux is the only one who can do actual damage confirmed. <laughs> again, that's because everyone else practically fresh pulls. Okay, that was satisfying. <laughs> pick up, pick up. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm actually gonna oh. swap this back out. No, I want you to stay, Jean. Uh, swap you back out for Barbara. We can do this. And swap you out for. They do for the damage. I trust you. Ready, steady, go! And we'll seal up. And off we go. Treasure chest. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. Power the ended high shot! Inputs are feeling a bit slow there. That's okay. 
A place where a god Use was defeated, training dummy. and its remnants still affect the area to this day. Oh, we get the tracker site. Nice. Honestly, love the tracker site in this game. It's it's a fun little. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because like, um, it kind of does remind me. I, I keep getting sidetracked because I'm giddy and excited and like my brain's going at a hundred miles an hour right now. But um, yeah, it reminds me of games like um, no, no, no. It's useful for games uh, when it's just a gigantic collectathon, collectathon, not collectathong. That's an approach. Um, but yeah, it just, really good, really good, good, good. That's all I can say, because my brain's not really working, it's still recuperating. From too the shock? Yes, too many good things are happening. So, yeah, nice, two for the price of one. Oops, clicking too many buttons. Game is struggling. Oh yeah, I need, need to pick up Star Conscience, so I'll keep an eye out for that. <laughs> so many collectibles, so many things to do. It never ends. Huh, okay. Honestly, did not know where that was <coughs> indicating me to go. See that object in the center? Perhaps it emits the remnant strength of the god. That would certainly affect you. But the hydromanic. Hold on. I contract. I must put my personal feelings aside. Go ahead. Defeat them. And recover the relic. Crap. There we go. Oh no, 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 no. There we go. Good thing. Stupid squirrel. I don't like fighting the. Oh my god. Words. Words are not functioning for brain. You know what I'm talking about. Um. The water boss. I'm not talking about anything yet. The water boss. It's just a stone. Yeah, Oceanid. Yeah, but it's there. Design. Fighting the ocean is always like the toughest thing. Be enough to garner some information. So, Let's head like, back. Time to fight its mirages for this quest. Not a happy surprise, I will say. Ooh. More crystals. I also will say it really helped that Paimon just gave us so many, so many of the Paimon gems this entire week for the last four days. Mm hmm. Eight hundred in total. I know. You call yourself Five a scholar wishes. of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that. What are you good for? Oh, we nice to know you guys are getting expertise. along. I already tried very hard to explain. This girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know anything about the surrounding ruins. I even know more than her. Okay, so what's wrong with that? She left me to rely solely on guessing, I mean experience, to find anything valuable to take back. Oh, what a waste of time. Yeah, the facade is fading uh, fast. You know, you're I've just, just been researching dead. the God of Salt, so I'm not familiar with sea relics. Is that so strange? 
Odin shouldn't lack general knowledge and you, in the field, though. You kept asking about how much Mora everything is worth. Can the value of relics only be measured in Mora? I... I mean, isn't measuring their value in Mora the easiest way? Uh, this also matches the traditions of Liyue, does it not? Yeah, no, go no. ahead, liar. Calm down. No need to make a fuss. We were able to bring back some intriguing objects. Let's have a look. Captain Liar oh, Pants. What a shame. <sighs> These objects were indeed washed ashore by the Overlord of the Vortex. But they have nothing to do with the god besides being in the vicinity at the time. This stone slab we found, however, has a mysterious pattern and faint aura of divine power. Perhaps it will be useful for research purposes. Quick, give it to me! Why? <laughs> at least we didn't come for nothing. The power of the gods, yes! This is good. Oh, but these other objects are certainly worth a little something, right? <laughs> It should be enough to cover the cost of hiring you. It's all mine. Not at all. My quest to uncover the history of the God of Salt is because history can tell us about culture and beliefs. But you? You're just trying to use archaeology to get rich. Is that really using archaeology or just, you know, digging up stuff? Period. Nonsense. I'm a professional archaeology researcher from Snezhnaya. I swear, if I'm lying, may the Lord of Geo strike me down. Oh, by the way, <laughs> you probably don't want to sell that teacup. Oh, why is that? That's not an ancient teacup. It's part of Ningguang's collection. It must have fallen here along with the Jade Chamber. So unless you want to mess with the cheesing... <laughs> ah, I see. What a shame. It was of such high quality, too. See? You do want to sell these objects! But, uh, so what? Why can't I pursue wealth both intellectual and material? Don't be so simple-minded. Uh-huh. Sure. All right, then. No need to stay here any longer. Hmm. I'm rather quite intrigued by the God of Salt, too, actually. Well, then. Let's go to Saltera, then. Then. Oh, my God. So much adventuring experience. So much. I am rich with it. <laughs> I thought that I thought that would make you laugh, Amy. Yeah, are you talking about the books? Yes. Yes. No. Sorry for lying. I was talking about the adventure experience bar. Now full of Ah, uh, the adventure rank. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Show begin. Ooh, nice. It's very rare that I get the ominous masks, ominous masks from uh, the churls. Right. Oh yes, <laughs> big churl. How fast, um, like, Jean can apply Swirl every five seconds. I'm like, that's why having her as the Swirl Elemental Meteor character would be insane good. By having a full, uh, set of the Veridicent Veneer. For a you got the word that eventually. Yes, I'm sorry. I am. I'm man. I'm not capable of speaking and thinking at the same time and playing a video game. <gasps> I knew it. 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 Yep, it is an important place. Be loads of valuable yep, relics I called it so long ago. According to legend. The people of the God of Salt. Yeah, first time you walked up to that went, that looks important. How do we get in? Uh huh. But this legend has been around for ages. With the countless scrap collectors and treasure hoarders in the area, there probably aren't many valuable things left here. 
I mean, if it's sealed underneath a thing, oh, that's it's just definitely... Great. If I knew it was picked this clean before, I wouldn't have come. About that. I know there's a ruin deep in this cave here. It's related to the God of Salt, which is actually how the area originally got its name of Sal Terai. However, the ruin entrance has been sealed by a mysterious power. I found a mechanism that seemed to be related to the seal, but when I undid the mechanism, the seal wasn't affected at all. So at the moment, the seal's origin and how to break it are very important topics in my research on the God of Salt. Is it related to Rex Lapis? I don't know. There's no concrete evidence. But I'm pretty sure the fight seal the God is meant to hide now? some kind of long-forgotten truth. They're definitely going to be very angry. The God aggravated. of Salt was a benevolent god, adored by the people, not to mention powerful. She wouldn't have any kind of shameful secrets to hide. So, the one who wants to hide some truth is very possibly her killer. Who cares about all that? It sounds like countless treasures of the God of Salt lie within this ruin, just waiting for someone to find them, right? I should just push you in and close the door behind you. You weren't listening at all, were you? Ugh. Even if there's a mountain of treasures inside, nobody can get in if this- Ah, but we have the illustrious Mr. Zhang Li with us. He looks like he knows just about everything. A little seal shouldn't be any trouble for him. I mean, that's a hop and leap of bound. We know it's not because we know he's a god. Come on, that's a hop, leap, and a bound for you, Clement. This seal seems to be quite ancient. Even Mr. Zhang Li may not know all of its secrets. I may know something about it. <laughs> I'm the one who made it. What? Over the years, I've heard various rumors with bits of knowledge about seals. Although their references seem rather disorderly, they do in fact contain the secret to breaking seals. Let's go take a look at the mechanism Miss Wanyan just mentioned. Okay, since Mr. Zhongli says so, follow me then. Ooh, I see a challenge in the background. I'm gonna go do that challenge. That challenge is impossible. I have tried it so many times. Well, nothing is impossible if you set your mind to it. Also, imagine if, like, I would love to swim in water this clear. Yeah. Awesome. Water's nearby, are we so murky and filthy? Ah! I could probably do it with Barbara. Or not. There we go, that's one. That's two. And that's three. See? I did it. Okay. Nothing was so impossible about that. I was always like two seconds short. Continue on with the story now. Heck, I'm sure with an archer it'd be even faster. Because all you have to do is a little bit of strafing. Here it is. There's some debris scattered here that, when put together, look like they definitely had to do with the god of salt. According to the inscription on the side, if one looks from a certain angle, the secret to the mechanism will be revealed. Oh, yes. I love these. Come on. There we go. See that? Although we activated the mechanism, nothing happened to the seal. That's because there's actually another mechanism that must be activated. Uh, another? Let yeah. me lead the way from here. Oh, I should have Zongli on my party to actually make him lead the way, but that's okay. familiar. Huh, I remember. I think there's some elemental monuments here. 
So you're saying they're related to all this? When I investigated the seal last time, I had someone with a vision accompany me. Oh, we both but have visions. When we lit up all the elemental monuments, nothing happened. That's because you don't just need to activate them at the same time, but in a certain order as well. Otherwise, the secret to this puzzle is hidden in the legends about the Archon War. All right. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the north. All desolate and devoid of life. Liu is vast, yet even one haven is hard to find. To the north, to the east, do the people of Liyue always talk in riddles? Yes. Yes, we do. I think I've heard this saying before. Certainly you have. And the contents of this saying are also related to the God of Salt. To provide a haven for her people, whose lives had been ravaged by the Archon War. At that time, with the chaotic fires of war engulfing the land, even one sliver of peace was a luxury. And that haven she eventually found is right here. Today, it is known as Sal Turai. How sad, then. In the end, this peaceful place was destroyed by Morax. Okay, enough with these ancient stories. Now that we have the clue, hurry up and break the seal. Tianhong in the south, Yao Guang in the east, Zhuiyun in the west, Qingzhe in the south north. Southeast, west. With north. this clue, you should be. Southeast, west, north. Right. Right. Oh. Back off. Not cool. Ha. 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 Pummel you into the corner. That. South. East. West. North. Yeah. Nice. Look! The seal really was broken! Mr. Zhang Li is indeed quite remarkable. It was nothing, really. Now, knowing. it's time that people learn the hidden truth lost to time. Oh, great. We're gonna learn a dark secret. We're gonna learn a dark secret. We're gonna learn a dark secret. La 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 la. <laughs> Before entering the ruin, I have a proposal that will help us prevent the kind of senseless arguing between you two that we saw at Guyanstone Forest. Okay. What is it? I propose you two agree upon a contract, stipulating that we alternate who gets claim to each treasure we encounter, with only one object permitted per claim. Okay. To show my sincerity, I won't be taking any treasure. This will just be between you all. And I won't take any either. Come on, Paimon, we don't I need don't more treasure. I don't agree. I mean, you want me to split the treasure with this amateur archaeologist? No, absolutely not. Why not? I don't agree either. <laughs> he will only defile the precious relics left behind by the God of Salt. Uh -uh. Well then, if the contract is not agreed upon, I will no longer serve as your consultant on this expedition. Ooh, you will have to rely on your own late. experience to find whatever treasures are hidden in this ruin, as well as traps. You, you, you have the audacity to demand this. <sighs> okay then, even half of the treasure in the long sealed ruin of the God of Salt should be enough to make a fortune. If you want me to agree upon this contract, so be it. If we discover the truth behind the God of Salt, you must judge it fairly, even if the truth harms Morax's image. I can accept this arrangement. Well then, he already knows what's let's go. To be awaited. Oh, that's that's literally just a drop into the clouds or into smoke. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I guys. thought the same thing. 
I thought the same thing when I was gonna head down there. I'm like, do I do I just jump? <laughs> I I over you know estimated its awesomeness, but so much delicious Dr. Lucy shade and more lapis, which I'm gonna need real soon. To ashes. That one was just pouting on the sidelines. And yoink, 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 and yoinkus. Honestly, one of the things I really love about games is caves and whatnot, because like you can pack so much on the surface, but it's like it's like um, a donut and then like a jelly-filled donut. You have so much room underneath the surface of your world to create so many more wonderful and beautiful like spaces. If that makes sense, mm -hmm. like yeah. That's why I always love when you get caves and dungeons to go spelunking in the game. Because like while the outside world is pretty, it also shows death, literally, to the world. I just want to get all the corn out this year. Treasure chest. Don't mind if I do 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 do. Today is a great day. <laughs> I mean, no, because you guys are going to give me a Geo character. That or I could have want full Geo with Ningguang. Wait, do I have enough? I think I only have... The the <laughs> only reason they recommend Geo is so you can build platforms. Yeah, so even if you had Ningguang or um, the lovely, lovely... What's her face? Uh, Noelle. You still wouldn't be able to make platforms. Thanks for giving me a level 71 Zhongli though to work with. Oh, that spear though. That spear. Oh, and they gave him a full set of Noblesse Oblige. oblige. Jesus. Can I just keep this one? He's upgraded. <laughs> well, no, he even has like three levels of his constellation, and his talents are up like five, eight, and five. Jeez. Oh, okay. Are these statues? So, I just want to make. No. These are people. Yeah. Duh. I want to they make... were probably followers Damn of it. the God of Salt. How did they become this way? What in the world is hidden deep in this ruin? So I just want to make a parallel to, um, like a Bible story. There's actually like a story on how uh, I think it's Old Testament. I forget. Anyways, um, I remember when I went to church. Um, we were read the story on how um, God told um, there, there was this town full of awful people and doing awful things and blah 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 and it was like another example of like don't do awful things or else God will punish you and have faith in God or else if your faith wavers you'll also succumb to the same punishment so the whole thing was that um, God told a man uh, to take his family his wife and kids, and uh, flee from the city because uh, by 
tomorrow noon because he was going to um, cast like a curse on the city and like as a memento and like purge it of evil. And so like that that was the whole that was the whole thing. It's like take your family, take away, leave, don't look back. Don't look back when you leave or us. And um, the whole the whole punishment that God had reserved for this town of evil people was he actually turned them to salt statues just like this. That's why I'm making the parallel because I'm remembering the story uh, due to the salt statues. And um, the, the kind of like sad part of the story is that upon hearing the screams of the uh, villagers they were leaving behind, his wife actually turns back and she Where also do you turns want to go next? into a salt statue. If you'd like to see Liu Wei's tourist spots, I yeah. have a few references. Well then. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. seeing these salt statues. Also, look at this charged attack. Holy shit. <laughs> Anyways. Also, I love how he full on doesn't actually use the weapon. Okay, never mind. He doesn't hold on to it. Okay. No, nowhere nearly using it as Shine Ling. Yeah. So fast. Anyways, I'm I'm done splurging and gawking over this. Despite this being so incredibly awesome. Oh, I almost freaking launched myself off of the edge of the Hold on. Oh yeah, killing these guys won't actually give me anything, will it? No, no XP, no nothing. Oh, that's what you meant by having to use platforms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't climb the walls. Quake! Hold on. I'm so angry. Artifact, books, lots of books. Cutscene. Look at this. It's filled halfway with salt. Okay. Uh, it just looks like a fancy salt holder. Seems like the god of salt was a god lacking in treasures. According to my knowledge, it's no ordinary vessel. Although it is only half full, it is also forever half full. That is to say, it is bottomless. Oh. What? You're saying that even if I pour the salt out, the amount inside won't change? Exactly. That's kind of awesome. The god of salt is powerful indeed. You will never have a meal that's not salty enough. Finally, mm. after all that <laughs> effort, I've found precious For those who treasure. like salt, I claim this is mine. The endless salt shaker and the endless need to pepper pour shaker. The endless salt into a thousand or ten thousand bags. I can sell it and make a fortune. Well, we now found the, the salt merchant of the world. Hey, how can you use a relic of the god of salt for such a shallow pursuit? Just a salty pursuit. If Mr. Clement wants this salt chalice, then the next object we find will belong to Miss Wanyan, according to the contract agreed upon. Yep, and it's probably a much of better course, item. as we agreed. <laughs> but how can anything be worth more than this rare find? You would be surprised, my dear sir. You would be surprised with the shit we found in these dungeons. Since we have a contract, it's no use for me to fight with him. I mean, don't worry about it. Then let's move on, shall we? We're probably gonna find something like a hundred times more incredible. so hard to get used to having an extra fifth character and reaching all the way over on your keyboard for that fifth button. 
Yep, knew it. Yeah, a little bit. All right, what sacred relic do we find here? The sacred pepper shaker? Oh, key. Huh, just a simple ruler. It doesn't look to be worth anything. This, if I remember correctly, this is some kind of measuring tool. I mean, he did say it was a ruler. Indeed. But the god of salt imbued it with another power. When you stick this ruler in the ground, the surrounding area will become covered in salt. Much like a rising tide covers the earth. The deeper it is stuck in the ground, the more salt will appear. It is essentially a bumper harvest of salt. What? That, that's even better than the salt chalice! Well then, according to our <laughs> contract, the salt ruler goes to Miss Wanyan. No, unacceptable. I paid for and organized this entire expedition. Why should I get the short end of the stick? Because you claim dibs first. And this girl has been useless. Why would she get anything? There we go again. Oh, the topic is so useless. So you're saying people. you want to break the contract? Oh. So what if I break it? Now that I've seen how the mechanisms in this ruin work, I no longer need you. Let's not forget who hired who here. Why should I let you make the rules? Because he's a god. Because you agreed to a contract. Rex Lapis once said. Ones who break their contract. Oh, are we gonna kill him? Are we gonna kill him? The wrath of the rock. That is one of your Liyue gods. I am from Snezhnaya. I, I am about to die. Will suffer the wrath of the rock. You may find it rather unpleasant. Oh. Yes. I knew it. Yes. Happiness and bound. Back at you. Now, okay, so my current thought right now is you remember the little girl who's trying to become as awesome and as powerful as me? This is Yeah, Ellen? Yeah. Oh, that hurt a lot. Wow, that was awesome. Yeah, I wonder if Jean can actually do all the tasks Ellen I shall wants to train your to do treasure that. As well. You are not worthy to continue any further into the ruin. Probably. Leave this place. Oh, darn you. I'm so Just curious. Just you wait. Oh, wow. We actually chased them off. I did not expect that. Yeah. I hope you never become as greedy as him, Pyron. Clement's wrongdoing stemmed from greed, yes. But besides greed... There are many other things that may tempt us to break contracts. When people see the object of their dreams, how many are really able to control their desire and follow the contract? I think we should be honest with each other now. All right. That in truth, not a single member of this archaeological expedition came here for archaeology. I mean, I know you didn't, and I know I didn't. Why do you say that? Miss... You lack even the most basic archaeological knowledge, and can recognize naught but a few simple relics. However, you are an expert when it comes to anything regarding the God of Salt. You aren't interested in archaeology or relics. What you're really interested in is the God of Salt. I believe those legends about the God of Salt God of that salt. you mentioned God on the Pearl Galley are of passed salt. down between generations at Yinyuan Hall. Okay, that's enough. Sir, you are indeed a man of great knowledge and talents. I seem to have been right to seek you out once I plucked up my courage. You're right. I'm not a scholar of archaeology. I come from one of the eight trades under the jurisdiction of the Chi Sing. Our ancestors were those protected by the God of Salt all those years ago, when the Archon War engulfed the land in chaos. I've never heard you say Rex Lapis to think of it. Yeah. During the war, Morax assassinated our god out of envy for her power. He left us alone and lost in the world. Sure. We, we hate him. But this is Morax's Liyue after all. And its history is written as he wishes. So I seek proof of Morax's guilt. 
He has blood on his hands and cruelty in his heart. <sighs> we agreed to a contract that we will face the truth head on, didn't we, Mr. Zhongli? Naturally, of course. But I must add, Liu is no longer Morax's Liu. Come with me. All the answers you seek lie ahead. Oh. I am interested. Also, the fact that, like, if you think it was a Morax call caused calamity, you don't think that the people would be encased in something other than salt, don't you? Hmm? Hmm? Also, I know you're biting your tongue because you don't want to spoil it, Amy. I know. Because you've already been through this part. That or our discard call got disconnected. No, I'm still here. Okay. Crumble. So it is because you don't want to spoil it. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. It's all right. My knees won't be tired from jumping to all these conclusions. Yeah. Burn. All right. Let's take care of the caster first. Well done, that was a lot of perfect effects. Take this! Sorry, Let the show begin! Right! I can only imagine how, for a voice actor, how awkward it would be, or could be, or is, um, to just spend, I don't know how long... This is order. Not that attack is so fucking awesome. Anyways, uh, to spend god knows how long in an audio booth, in a recording booth, just making, just doing grunts. You know, grunts and combat noises. Yeah. You have to make all the bazillion different types of noises, or else the game gets boring with the, all the repeated ones. I know, but like, just how, you know, sit, sitting there or standing in a booth, just going, hey, ha, 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 and how possibly annoying it would be Rise. if like they're like oh can you can you do it a little bit more like this or a little bit more like this to the point where like at, at some point language just stops being a thing Ooh, a broken blade this is a sword uh -huh. it's a broken sword this is proof this proves that the god of science will <coughs> fight back Fight back against the evil Morax, but sadly, she was defeated. Yeah, you're jumping to conclusions the there, kid. The power of this sword surely is much greater than that of the Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler. If we can repair the sword, then we can show the world the mighty power of the God of Salt. Yeah. Two pieces of a broken sword. From an archaeological perspective, these are two separate relics. According to the contract. You can only can claim, claim one. one. Why? We were alternating claims to treasure, true. But Clement is no longer here. Yes. But the only one object per claim clause still holds true. You cannot take two relics at the same time. <laughs> this logic! Hmm. When there's a contract, nothing can be allowed to slide. If the contract is not followed, then it is broken. And if it is broken, you suffer the wrath of the rock. No! If I only take one half, then it can't be repaired, and the power of the God of Salt cannot be restored. No matter what, I must be faithful to her. Even if it breaks the contract, I don't care. So you are already decided? Mm. There's a price. 
Then there okay. is a price to pay for breaking, for breaking the, contract. the contract. That is to say, you consign yourself to, to suffer, suffer the, the wrath, wrath of the, the rock. rock. That... that's okay. The God of Salt gave up her life to protect her people. My sacrifice is nothing compared to that. Okay, yeah, but if you get your ass whooped and die in here, trying to claim two relics of a broken sword, you leave the relics of the broken sword in the fucking dungeon because you died. Punish me however you want. Just let me take this proof of my faith. You can't hit a girl. Perhaps I vow for true gender equality. Easier for her. But, as punishment, I will tell you the truth. Huh? The truth? You mean the truth is my punishment? Yes. The truth that I am about to tell you shall be your price oh, to pay for Oh, and the music just went to the minor, minor tune. I'm afraid to say that the god of salt, Havria, was not the powerful god you imagine her to be. Rather, she was a small and weak god. Who yielded to all other gods. When it came to war, she lost, never able to win a seat among the seven. Uh, what? During the Archon War, the gods of this world used all their strength and cunning to vie for control of Tevat. But Havria instead chose to flee. She thought that by giving up before a fight could start, she could save herself and her people from the war. However, during such a long war, there is no end to the advances of aggressors. After making countless concessions, Avria lost all of her lands, until only one small haven remained. No. No. It can't be so. In her yes. last days, she had not even a single blade to defend her people with. Not even a single blade? This sword is not a relic belonging to the God of Salt, but is instead the murder weapon used to kill her. Oh. Murder weapon? Oh. No! That's not true! That can't be true! You're trying to test my faith in the God of Salt! Nope! As I said before, I only state, I only the, state the facts. I'm sorry, but this... Oh, sorry, I should have eyes a lot more open. Um, oh, fucking, and this is why I find Zhongli to be such an amazing. Um, this is why I find Zhongli to be like such a fucking badass character in moments like these. Preposterous! Follower of Morax, don't try to trick me. Uh, that was too much for her to say. It is a punishment after all. I did not want to tell her such cruel facts. But the contract but was the broken. contract was broken. Let's follow her deeper into the ruin. There, I fear. We will oh. find something that will leave her no choice. I don't know why face emergency truth. food is mute. I don't know. It just it just happened today. Like I I through this entire section of the game, she has no voice. And I did not do anything. Because everyone else can speak. So it's weird that only one character like I just break games, okay? I am just cursed with just normal playing. Salt and, and betrayal. I'm just normally playing a game and freaking it breaks somewhere or another. Audio breaks, visuals break, game full on crashes. Freaking even even I break freaking streams and like I, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything. Also, yeah. Woman, if you expect your god of salt to be so right, just, and whatnot, you can't explain the fucking horrific scenery around you of everyone encased in what? <laughs> salt? All coming and radiating. Words. And radiating out of like a central blast zone. 
All right, that's that's not a good thing. That 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 not good thing. What are all these? What did they see? What did they do? They pissed off your god. What? What happened? Since you do not trust me, let us continue, continue onward. Forward. <laughs> that which lies beyond this door will show you all that happened back then. Yep, a central radiating widespread blast. I called it. Yo, Genshin this sad is music. The scene of the crime. Genshin Impact Lo-Fi. I mean, body yeah, dissipated, it actually is common enough. Leaving nothing but these traces of salt. Her dying moments have since been frozen in time to this very day. <sighs> the story continues that some among her people realized at last that this gentle, kind, but weak god could never protect anyone in wartime. The Archon War was cruel in the extreme. Instead of consigning her to the agony of defeat, they thought Perhaps it would be better to give her a quick release. Oh my god, no. Her own people killed her? No matter how weak the god, the power that flows forth when they are slain is beyond the strength of mortal coils to bear. Those who could not flee were thus transformed. Those of her people who were untouched by this disaster left for Liyue where they sought refuge with Rex Lapis. Their descendants feared Havria's remnants and lived in terror that she had laid upon them an eternal curse. So they risked their lives to come here, to break the sword and offer up obeisances in hopes that her anger might be appeased. But they need not have done so. For how could a god who had never once resisted even till the end, nurse hatred for her people in her heart. Uh, I... Even if this is so, I can't! Accept it? This must be a lie. A false history, all of it! I mean... Who... We opened the seal of this place. How could we have staged all of this? Don't you dare try to shake my faith! This is the price she must pay. Yet I would not call it a bad thing. Judging by how she appeared, I fear that she will struggle for a time. But even if she may not escape that struggle immediately, simply recognizing the truth is good enough for now. Yeah, but you definitely didn't hear rumors about how to break the seal, No, did you? indeed. How sharp of you. Yet this is not a matter of wisdom. Only, Only age. age. Faith in a there. god who has already passed will do you no good. So it is for Havria. And so it is for Morax also. People of Leo may understand right that one day. Now, would you like to accompany me in taking a trip to Guyan Stone Forest? Yeah, sure. <sighs> Treading old ground. Telling old stories. One Give cannot us story help time. but be we enjoy reminded story of old acquaintances. Alright, lost loot. Always happy to obtain. Random books. Let us go. But yeah, the Genshin Impact soundtrack, like, could totally be used for like studying and whatnot in the background. Uh, I, I, I could totally see myself using that in the near and or not so distant future. Like, 
The music is so sweet, so calm, so chill. Like, the most upbeat it ever gets is the, like, cert one certain part of Leeway's combat music. And even then, it's nowhere near as rough and tough as some other, um, some other games for game combat music, which get, like, full-on ridiculous and bassy and whatnot. So, like, yeah. And I especially love this track that I was just playing. I especially love that tune. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's like the equivalent of waking up on, like, waking up to a rainbow, is what I would say. If that makes any sense. Which I, I, I dare say it does. So, yeah. Then again, there's, there's a lot of games with like wonderful and marvelous uh, OSTs. Um, yeah, original soundtracks. Yeah, OSTs. Um, that you could just like put on the background of your life and just make your life that much more cinematic and badass feeling. I will tell you, I will tell you though, this is not a game OST, but I will say, if you ever want to feel like whatever you're doing is either badass or has grave freaking impact on the world, like, do anything with um, uh, Satsuki Kiryu's theme from Kill the Kill. Or even Harry Menui's theme. I will. I assure you, there is nothing that will. That, I okay. No, no. Sorry, I can take that back because saying an ultimatum will ultimately like I'll end up being proven wrong. But I will say I currently have not found any way to make doing laundry more freaking badass feeling than when doing it. Uh, while blaring freaking Harry Menui's and Satsuki Kiryuin's theme from Kill the Kill. I will honestly say it's just so bassy and so such a fanfare of sounds that just just will get you through any mundane task. Anyways, let us continue the story. Now. I mentioned before that many gods of old have been sealed beneath the Guyan Stone Forest. The Adepti have presently handed Leo over to mortals, and Havria's time was even further in the past. The Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler that she left behind should not return to Leo. Yeah. To leave them here is to let them slumber, and it is also a homecoming. So what do you want us to do? I ended an era with my own two hands. I've always wondered how I should remember that which I ended. Okay. History records, but history may be changed. This incident proved that. Time is a mighty force, and histories twist in its flow. Mm -hmm. I need to find a better way of recording history in order to engrave its truth. Stone carvings were one such ancient method, but unchanging stone, immovable earth, even one such as myself. Someday we may all disappear. And the road away? Therefore, I thought of you, traveler. You are one who crosses the celestial atlas and who passes through countless worlds. If our history is engraved in your memory, it will one day accompany you into another world. As long as a traveler like you is able to record what happened, then a backup of sorts will exist for times and tides of Tevat. That's why you wanted us to come with you. Now then, it is time that we consigned both the Salt Chalice and Salt Ruler to the sea. Yeah, but wouldn't that make the sea, like, infinitely saltier and very dangerous 
and wreck the ecosystem? As I said before, this is the place to which the remnants of many bygone gods are consigned. This includes Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who the Jade Chamber most recently returned to this ocean prison. No, am I wrong, Amy? Thousands of years ago, the Adepti and I fought against the turmoil that plagued also, every corner of this land. Also, I love the animated cutscenes. Guyan Stone Forest, where I sealed many gods with my spears. Oh, shit. After so long, naught but folk tales remain. Oh, Sio, you and I were foes. But our ancient grudge is but a bygone memory now. May that which Havria has left behind be yours to subsume. And thus another spark of divinity departs from Liyue. My legacy shall now be left to those who come after to debate. Well then. Well then, well then, well then, well then, well then. I will remain here for a while. I fear that moments of reminiscence like this can only grow fewer. What will you do now? That is a good question. In the past, I might have given you a most specific answer, but now. Yes. I suppose I will continue in my role as a consultant at Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. But if this journey was to your liking, why don't you come along the next time I am seeking to preserve memories of Leo's past? You can count on me. Holy jeez, though. That was, uh, one heck of a story. But I still will say, wouldn't throwing something that will always remain half full of salt into the ocean be a bad fucking idea for the ocean speaking? Probably, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like... Damn! Huh. Alright. Okay, so this is already maxed, so I can just consume these. Okay, cool. I was thinking of that. <sighs> just looking at my inventory, admiring its insanity. I used a lot of my notebooks today. I wonder who uses Cecilia's as their uh, upgrade material. I wonder. Ooh, we still have three of these. Oh, and we have this. Oh, boo. All right, I'm gonna go, go, Barbara, go. try to collect some more. Oh, darn it. To ashes. That, that failed. At least I got the attack off. Time for retribution! Ah! I swear by my sword! <laughs> Let the show begin. Feel love. No. Not like you. And that's one left. Back at ya. Da 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 da. Alright, yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a hunting for. Um, yes, the Verdicid Veneer. I'm gonna want to get those. 
Or do I want the ruins of the Cabian city? Jeez. I don't remember. I don't know. I'm unsure which one's better. Well, okay, since this is Sunday, it's not a guarantee that I'll even get any. If I do the thing. You know? Yeah, Sundays are like, do... Is like grab bag. Do it if you if can, you... like do it if you have to sort of thing. Well, if you want just a sh like any of them, if you need any of them kind of thing. Which yeah. I technically do need all of these. I do need all of them. Um, but I do believe um, having the artifact for uh, the upgrade in power will also be much more beneficial. So let us try to match make. In order to do the Dance of Steel. In order to get the Viridescent Veneer for Jean. So that her swirl attack actually is insanely powerful. Oh. Okay. Well then. <laughs> We have two Ventis. I'm gonna have to change myself for the fun of it. For the fun of it. Well then. <laughs> well then, well then, well then, well then. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We have two people who have Ventis. Oh, nice. We got two, a Klee, a Venti, a Delic, and a Jean. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. And I'm actually kind of pumped that I'm the party leader. Though I technically, I guess I should have taken Kuching. But no, the prototype thingy thingy is actually much stronger out of uh, the weapons. And let's go! Everyone in? Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. This insanity on screen. You can get away. Oh my god. I should not have activated that. Not how long. I just see 9,000 going off on the screen. Oh my god. Oh my god! Venti is just grabbing all the enemies. And we're almost done. Ooh, that hurt a lot. Okay, something randomly killed me. Alright. The, the guy didn't even swing! Alright, but we won. Jeez, the guy didn't even swing and I died. I don't know what happened. But, nonetheless, it was awesome. And I'm going to use my condensed resins, because I'll just get more rewards. <gasps> yes, I got a golden flower. And, oh, Maiden Beauty. Well, that, that's good for Barbara. But I got one five-star, one... I just need all the others. I need hats. I haven't gotten a five-star hat yet. I just got a little bit confused about what you meant by hats. I never thought of them that way before.
Uh, uh, details, are you wearing the white weapon? Right weapon. Yes, you are. Okay, cool. Start! I'm super pumped! Yeah, I could tell. Well, like, come on. Two five star, a four star, and then we're about to play Baldur's Gate. With Zeiss and Melted Polys. Would you, who could not be pumped? <laughs> Another test subject. sword in shadow. Like, my god, just insanity. Oh my gosh, having a Venti on your party for this dungeon immediately renders it trivial. Like oh my gosh. That was incredible. And this time I didn't die. Oh, proud of myself for that one. And yes, I got I got the hat. I got the five star hat. Yes. Yeah. Oops, got stuck on geometry. Finally. Took me so long. Once more. Ah, oh, no, he left the world. Let's match again. Stand clear. It was a satisfying tag. Holy crap. Sir! We've got a full party eight that entry. Now this one might be a lot tougher though. If we don't have a venti. Because venti sort of just wraps everyone into death. Alright. Idyllic. Uh, okay, this one, this, now, it's, now it's time for hard mode, engaged. Because we're all just level 80s or close, and this is a level 90 dungeon. So, uh, this will be interesting. Everyone in. Verdict is... Wind, hear me. Nice. Good. Free. Cut to the chase. Oh my gosh. Focusing one at a time. Over here. Oh, 
Dense resin to do it. I'll see if, if everyone stays, I'll do it again, and if they all leave, I won't. That gotcha. Alright, well, they haven't left, so let's do this. Had an interesting thought. Yeah. Would it be technically more worthwhile to break open fragile resins and then um, immediately convert them into condensed resins? <laughs> I got careless. I got careless. Oh, that was almost terrible. Alright. So I'm gonna go help G oh my god. I was going to say I'll go help Jean who seems to be bullying the electricity page. Nowhere to hide. I swear by my sword. Well, satisfying to hit 12,000 in one hit. Don't look hit 5,000 per hit. That's kind of nice. Head to the chase. Hide from the lightning. It's always nice to have someone actually healing in the party. <laughs> I'm first in line. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Oh, nice! I got another flower. I was hoping for, like, you know, every other item, but. Ah, oh, well. Guess we can't have what we want all the time, eh? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. 
All right, I thank the other people. All right, turn to single player, and I'm going to end the stream there as I'll go make myself lunch to get myself ready for Baldur's Gate 3. But let us look, oh whoops, let us look at what we've got for Jane. Oh yes! All right, we have a five star hat. <gasps> yes! And it's a plus 7% attack hat, nice! Well, she's gonna be really strong. Yes. Switch. And. Alright, all we now miss is a timepiece and a feather. I have a four star feather, but I want a five star feather. Just because it'll be that much better. HP or defense? Crit rate, HP, energy recharge. Defense, attack, HP. Uh, yeah, let's keep the one we have on. But there we go. Uh, I'm gonna just upgrade the shit out of that hat. Because I can. And we all know that percentages beat out static numbers when static numbers surpass like a hundred or something like that. Auto add. Auto add. Oh, that's all the three star materials? Oh yeah, because I have a sh ton of five star materials instead. Boom, boom. Um, scroll down. I have so many of the Gladys intoxication and the five star, I'm just gonna get rid of all the four star ones. Yes, I know I'm using high grade stuff. So many maidens passing youth. I'm getting the five star ones accidentally, so I can get rid of these as well. Well, since it doesn't take that long anymore to actually, like, get a set. I feel no remorse in getting rid of... ...the pieces I had before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. That uh, makes sense. Yeah, and the conductor, as well, is quite common. And I don't care for these tiaras of thunder and stuff like that. Well, that was a waste of times two enhancement. Darn it. Uh, tiny miracles. I'm also getting that in the dungeon. Uh, da, 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 da. And those are things that can only go past up to the four star. Come on, we can get this artifact leveled to 20. Just throw everything in. Alright, um... Yeah, let's not throw in this level 16 gladiator's longing, though. It's a bit uh, too strong, how do you say. Um, well, I guess we're still stuck at level 18. But with that increase, Jean's attack is now 312. Quite short a ways from Kuching's... Mm, plus 991. Oh, but, but, Jean's already hitting in the 1000s. <laughs> then again, Deluxe hitting in the 2000s, so. 
low range, but uh, getting real close. At least she already hurts more than Chinchu, and she's 20 levels lower than him. So Jean is going to be one fucking powerful character. Heck, let's just see if I give her my strongest weapon. How much she hurts. Yeah, 1,300. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Anyways, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So, thus ends today, this morning's little bonus Genshin stream. Uh, stay, we're going to... Actually, actually, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to do this. Uh... Quit. And go into the idle screen. There we go. So yeah. Uh, this will end our Genshin Impact early morning like bonus stream and whatnot. Uh, stay tuned because in uh, a couple hours from now, um, there will be the lovely, lovely Baldur's Gate 3 stream with Zeiss, Melted Polys, and Amy plays. And that'll be absolutely wonderful, and I'm excited for it. And I'm probably also going to stream some more Tales of Bazuria because I absolutely freaking love that game. It is a wonderful story, and if I keep talking through it, I can avoid getting my wrists slapped, and I'm happy about that. Anyways, thank you so much, everyone, and thank you so, 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 so much for all the support you've been giving me. It's wonderful, and we'll see you in the next adventure.